you will watch and listen to a Columbia cylinder phonograph, a graphophone model BF, named the Peerless and sold in 1906 for $40. It has a very nice and ornate cabinet with columns, convoluted moldings, recessed panelings on all sides and made from expensive quarter sawed oak. The upper works too are very ornate and a nickel with a nickel plate and numerous gold green red flower garlands. The 1906 B models do not have any more the old Columbia floating reproducer, but are equipped with the Lyric 2 minute reproducer, here with version T3, which has no weight but a spring tension stylus bar. The phonograph is one of two uh, 1906 models that allows playing the new 6-inch long cylinders called 20th century records. They are 50% longer than regular cylinders and therefore play for 3 minutes. Since they were not sold very much at the time, they are quite rare and pricey today. Here we have the 20th century record number 85006 in the shade of the old apple tree sung by the male quartet, which is in fact the Columbia Quartet, and later, what a coincidence, became the Peerless Quartet. We hear the voices of tenor, of tenor Henry Burr, another higher tenor Albert Campbell, bass Frank Stanley and baritone Steve Porter, amplified by a contemporary morning glory horn that picks up the beautiful red flower theme of the graphophone's garlands. Here is the Columbia Peerless Quartet singing on a 1906 Columbia Peerless graphophone. If you listen carefully and read the lyrics, you will see that the three minute format is in fact inflated since verse 5 and 6 of the six verses are sung twice. Stop. 